Hello everyone, I am Brent and welcome to my video. For and now we are going to talk about sign law. So, what is sign law? If you don't know about sign law, then this video is for you. So, watch this now. But let's have some magic. Wow, that was a cool magic. So, we have a problem here. The diagram shows triangle ABC. A, B, and C. Okay? Now, the opposite of A is right here, and the opposite of B is right here, and the C is here. Now, our solution for this problem is A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. Sine A over A equals sine B over B equals sine C over C. Now, we are finding the measure of C, which means we are finding the angle. So, we are going to use this formula. We substitute it into number, and we got sine 57 over 15, sine C over 17. Now, multiply both sides at 17, and then cancel the 17 on the other side, and then bring down the 17. And then the sine 57 over 15 equal sine C. That will be the next step. Now the next step. Now, parenthesis the 17 times sine 57 over 15, and then multiply them, and then the answer will be 71.9 degree. So that's how we solve the measurement of C. Now we are going to find the measurement of A. To find the measurement of A, we're going to use another formula. So the formula will be A plus B plus C equals 180. We need this we need this formula to find the measure of A. If we don't have the measure of A, we can solve for a little A. So now let's start. I will not make this long, so I will put the answer right now. Now, A equals 180 minus B minus C. Substitute the value of B and C. It will become A equals 180 minus 57 minus 71.9. The answer will be A equals 51.1. Now that we have the value of A, we need to find the little one A. So, finally, so for A. So, we are going to use the first formula. Okay, so, same procedure. So, A over sine A equals B over sine B. Substitute, and then the answer is A is equal to 13.9. So, that is how we solve for sine rule. So, take note this, guys. I didn't mention this in the video so this formula is for the missing part and this formula is for the angle those two are different okay so use this missing part and this is for the angle that's all thank you for watching bye bye <laughs>